Hello everybody and welcome back to Manor Lords where we are currently working on getting cell bits up to the level of small town. Now in order to do that, what all do we need? Well we need to get three burgages upgraded. We'll need tavern supply, church level, we'll need food stall supply and clothing stall supply. Okay, do we have a weaver here? Yeah, we do. Excellent. So that looks good. We know that we have this clay furnace working, although it requires refueling. Let's pull a family out of there. We'll have only the one family for now. We'll need a construction family. And we're going to get this up to a small stone church as soon as we can. We may want to have another family in the tavern, but I don't think that's going to be our issue going forward. I suspect our issue is going to be we might need an additional tailor shop. This is a chicken coop right now. I think that's reasonably fine. Do we have any level two burgages that can have a backyard, but don't? I don't think that's the case here, to be honest. So that's fine. All we need is three up to level three. So that, of course, means that this tailor's shop needs to be working away. And that's indeed exactly what we're doing. So clothing stall supply, yeah, that'll be a th thing. Okay, let's take a look around at our other villages quick. Nuslo is fine. Immenruth is fine. Ikenau is lacking on the food. It does still have access to the berries, and there's 220 bread. The actual issue here is fuel. Okay, we can do something about that. We've even got some spare families, so I'd like to put in a woodcutter's lodge somewhere. Maybe, like, up over here? Yeah, something like that. Let's get that going, and we'll get that Woodcutter's Lodge put into business pretty soon. Lacking fuel here is, of course, a problem. We can put two into the charcoal kiln. And then we'll put one to two families. Uh, we'll have an additional zero here. So we would need two additional burgages here. That seems okay. We can definitely put in a burgage over here. This is not snapping, but whatever. We can just put this in, like, about here. That'll work just fine. It'll have a backyard. It'll have an expansion spot. Do it. So we'll get going on that. Ica now will be fine for the moment. Okay, so WoW is okay. Waldbrand is fine, but its fuel is not the highest in the world. We may want to consider getting a second logging camp, which our current one, our Woodcutter's Lodge, is out over here. I think it's reasonably okay. We've been pretty stable here, so that seems fine. Over in Goldoff, things are fine. I'm wondering about the status of the woodcutter here. It should be okay. Although I do want to specifically tell them... I want to move the woodcutter's lodge down here. Uh, do we have a forester's hut? I don't think we do. We should probably get one here. So a forester's hut is going to be fairly useful for us. That can just go in right here. And then I'm going to tell the woodcutter's lodge to have a limited work area. And that's going to be like down over here. And that's also where we're going to plant trees as soon as that gets done. So that seems fine for now. Up in Hopstetten, we're not really looking to develop this very much. I think we'll just leave it pretty much where it's at. Although I do see that they have six unassigned villages, or six unassigned families right now. That's kind of a lot. Let's assign one to the saw pit, one to the granary, one to the storehouse. And we've got one in the woodcutter's lodge. That seems fine. We may want to have another family or two in the hunting camp and the forager hut. Okay. Something like that should work for Hopstead. So that sounds good. Now, over in Selvins, we need to get what we can done here. So that means that this tavern needs to be run for a bit. So that all looks fine for now. And let's just cruise forward a bit. It's getting a little laggy. Okay, that's noted. Probably because we're pretty much in the end game at this point. So none of these are currently able to be upgraded. We're lacking a fair number of things, including, but not limited to, the tavern supply. And the church level, of course. So I would love to get this upgraded. We are currently lacking two roof tiles. We are producing roof tiles, though. Those are being produced down over here, and that is definitely something that we will get finished soon. Excellent. So we'll have enough to do that very, very shortly. 
we now have 11 roof tiles, so we do have enough to upgrade it. Get that going. So we're gonna get, going to get the wooden church upgraded. That's laggy. Okay, there we go. Sounds good. In terms of food sources, we've currently got some honey. We're mostly subsisting on bread, but we'll have some times when these are going to be able to be upgraded. Like right now, if we had the tavern supply, and if we had a clothing stall supply, that would be great. This tailor is being... Eh, the tailor's working, but we definitely could use more tailoring. That's for sure. Okay. So I'm wondering about some of these burgages out over this way. This has access to a backyard. I'd love to get this upgraded to level 2, but we're lacking a food stall supply for that. Okay, that seems fine for right now. Our tavern, everyone is waiting. So we've got 42 malt here in the malt house. But we're lacking a brewer. Right. We can we can turn the barley into malt, but we need to turn the malt into into beer, or rather ale. So let's get this brewery extension done here. That's going to remove one of our chicken houses, but I guess that's okay. We can probably put a chicken coop here if we had the wealth in order to replace that. So we can get some more chicken coops going out over here. Okay, we're lacking a family. Yeah, that makes sense because we just put in an artisan. So I'm going to pull from this apiary and then from this apiary, like that. Okay, so that sounds good. Excellent. So now we're going to have somebody working on our small stone church. That's going to take some time. And I want to head down to Ica now because we just finished up a woodcutter's lodge here. So the Woodcutter's Lodge is going to get one person here, and that is going to be a limited work area. They are going to be set to work here. Excellent. So hopefully we'll have a decent amount of fuel flowing in at this point. We'll see how that goes. Wonderful. We're going to have a harvest relatively soon-ish. But let's see how things are going with the small stone church. Okay, we're transporting goods. Royal tax has gone up. Not a shock. It is currently August, so harvest will be soon. This may not end up being the final episode. We'll see. We're going until we get the achievement. However long that ends up taking. So, that is fine. We are going to need to get these burgages upgraded, but the first things first here, we definitely need to get this brewery going, and now we should have tavern supply. So the only thing that we're missing at this point is food stall supply. And clo well, actually clothing stall supply. So the tailor shop is working away. Let's see if any of these level two burgages have the clothing stall supply. It looks like a lot of them don't. That's understood. We may want to get a second set of, uh, a second tailor shop here. That may not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's get a second tailor shop going. Okay, so something like that. I would like to get some additional chicken coops out over here to cover the loss of the two chicken coops. We'll need some additional wealth for that. So that'll have to wait till September. So that should be reasonably fine. We could add a plowing station to this farmhouse and that's probably not a bad idea. Okay. So this tailor shop is being worked on, as is the small stone church. The small stone church is almost ready to be built, actually, so that's looking good. We've just about got all of our prerequisites at this point. Okay. So it is currently August. September will be rolling around shortly. So that is absolutely noted. The church is being upgraded. That's good. It is now officially September. So, to that end, I'm going to put in a chicken coop here to offset some of the loss of eggs. And at this point, this small stone church is going to be done soon, but it is September. So you know what that means. It's time for the harvest. So we're going to come down over here. This is 37 on barley. This is 38. Okay, so we're just going to do something like that. Now, over in Iconau, I believe the back fields are intended to be the barley fields. 
Yes, that is correct. So these are going to be wheat. These are going to be barley. Cool. Down over here, what is 11%, 10%, 27%, and 36%. Okay, so these fields are barley. These fields are wheat. Perfect. The harvest hasn't started yet. We just need to get these assigned. So 86, that's pretty good for barley. 68, 64, 58, 59, 76. Okay, so we're going to have this be barley, this be barley, and then these three are all going to be wheat. Perfect. Then we're going to head up to Goldhoff here. I want to check to see we can definitely have two additional in the farmhouse. One in the windmill, that should be a thing. And we should also put a family into the communal oven if we don't have one. We probably don't. Uh, do we even have a communal oven? Yes, we do. We'll put one family in here. Perfect. So that looks fine. This was intended to be the flax field. And then 20%, 14%, and 15%. Not great on the barley front, but it'll do. Okay, so something like that. No fields up in Hofstetten to be working on, and that seems fine. This is, of course, a flax field. I believe the barley fields are in the back here. 71 and 77, and 62 this is, and 61. Yeah, that looks good. So that's all set up in Selvitz. Now, new slow. These fields are going to be fallow. So these guys, they should have a limited work area now, and they should be assigned specifically to here. Now, 27... 16, 16, 8, 7, 16, 9, and 5. That's not great. So we're going to have some barley out over here in these fields, while these over here are going to end up being wheat. Oh, what was this? 16? Uh, I'll have this be barley. That's fine. So these up here are all going to end up being wheat. Cool. These fields are going to be replanted. These will be fallow. So that seems fine for now. And we already did Immenruth, so let's head over to Waldbrin. So these guys are currently in a limited work area. That seems fine. I want them to be working up over here. And all of this is going to be plowed. These guys are currently in a limited work area. They're going to be working over here. They can harvest that for now. And then this is all going to be harvested as well. Yeah, that looks okay. So this is going to be replanted. This is going to be fallow. Okay, let's get started on this harvest. Beautiful. So we're cruising forward here and starting to grab the harvests. Excellent. We're going to get Immenruth done shortly here. And I want to check in up at Nuslo. Yeah. So we're just watching for fields that get finished, right? Like, for example, this one. So this field is going to be fallow. Oh, I didn't assign these. Hang on. We need to do this. So this is going to end up being probably rye over here. 21% on barley. 29% on barley. 39 on barley. That seems pretty good. 23, 26 is okay. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want help here. Go away. <laughs> 26. Okay, sure. So this is then going to be wheat here. This is going to be wheat here. Not great on the wheat, but a lot of this is not great on the rye either out over this way. So that's definitely noted. So all of these fields are now assigned. That seems good. This field is set to fallow. That is also good. Okay, so this is going to be replanted. This is going to be fallow. Excellent. So fallow here. And we're going to need to set these to fallow as well. Beautiful. This field is fallow. Excellent. Uh, this one's not quite done yet. There we go. And then up over here, of course, we're going to have multiple fallow fields. I'm not sure that one actually went. No, it did not. There we go. Cool. Uh, we're about to finish up this one as well. Okay. So let's make this be a fallow field. Sounds good. We have not started up here. Okay. That's interesting. These guys are taking a hot minute to get to the fields. There we go. <laughs> not sure what's taking them so long here. 
So this is all going to be fallow down here. So that is okay. We'll follow all of this up. And then this is going to be replanted. So for the moment, this is fine. We'll let that tick forward and we'll see what that ends up looking like. So Im and Ruth should be done pretty soon here. Yeah, we're going to make both of these be fallow. Don't spend your time plowing here. Okay, back they go. Perfect. So we're still harvesting here, looks like. This is going to be... It's not done yet? Okay. That's awkward. There's not any left, so I'm just going to burn that. And then we'll make that be fallow. Perfect. This down here, of course, these need to be fallow. So that all looks good. And we're just waiting on all of this to finish. Now, we should probably go check in up over here. Yeah, so this field is set to fallow, but these aren't done being harvested yet. Okay. So this out over here, the idea was is these are fallow. This gets replanted, right? So that's absolutely the case. These will be fallow. This field will be fallow as well. And then we just need this rye field. Looks good. So out over here, we're going to be replanting. Rye is fine. This is going to end up being... Oh, that's very low on everything. I guess we'll make that be barley. Same here. This is going to end up being wheat. And then we're still harvesting up over this way. So that sounds good. We are, of course, going to need to continue to make sure that these fields are all being correctly set to being fallow. Just waiting on this flax field at this point. Sure. Get that done. So Goldoff is now done. That is excellent. And we know that Imminruth is done as well. So that looks great. Let's finish up in Ica now. Uh, we'll just burn this. There's no yield remaining here. So that sounds good, and we'll set this to fallow. So all four of these are fallow. That's excellent. And then down here, we have this field that needs to be fallow. And then we're just going to finish up the harvest up through here. Then we're going to need to check in on some of these other locations for sure. Because I don't want to spend too much time plowing in fields that are intended to be fallow. Okay, so this is fallow. We're now done in Iconau. Let's check in over in Zawau. So we definitely want this to be a fallow field here. This field will be... Well, all of these are going to be fallow. So that is looking good. Yeah, no issues here. So that is Zawau done. Excellent. And we know that Goldhoff is done as well. Up over this way, we're still harvesting out here. Okay. These fields are going to be set to fallow. We got a late start on this, and I'm not sure why Selbit's got a late start, but whatever. I do want to check in over here. This is going to be replanted, and down here, we're still working on some of this harvest. So we'll have this be fallow. This will, of course, be fallow. This will be fallow. And then we've got this field, which actually has nothing left. So let's just make that be fallow as well. And let's tell these guys, pitch in wherever you need to be. Excellent. So now down in Waldbrind, we have this plowing ongoing. These fields are all, of course, going to be fallow. We're still waiting on this rye field to be harvested. Wait, we're plowing this. Never mind. This is really awkward. Okay, I'm going to burn this field. And we're going to have this be fallow. Okay, now these guys can pitch in wherever they need to be unlimited work area. Excellent. We're still harvesting out over this direction, although I do see some plowing has started. So here we should probably be on rye. Here we should be on flax. Here we should be on wheat. And then we've got these two fields to go. Okay. So that seems relatively fine for now. Let's get these fields finished up. This is currently on barley, and we want this to be on either wheat or rye. Both are identically fine. And this is now done. This is going to end up being flax. Okay. So that should be Waldbrind ready to go. No issues there. So the only locations left, I believe, are cell bits, which we need this to be fallow and this to be fallow. 
There we go. We were saving. And then we need new slow. And this is going to need to be replanted. So we're just going with whatever the highest fertility is. And most of these are already on the highest fertility, although this one will be wheat. Okay, looks good. And all of these are indeed fallow, so that's excellent. This field is currently on flax, and that is going to end up being wheat. Okay, this field, 26. Uh, we'll put that on barley at 30. That sounds good. 32 is fine. And then we just need this field here. Okay. I'm just going to burn whatever remains, and we'll get this set up. So that's going to be wheat. That is absolutely correct. I believe that is everywhere done with the... Oh, that's very laggy. Okay, that got very, very laggy. I believe that is done with whatever we need to do manually for the harvest. And at this point, we just need to wait for the plow to actually happen, and we're going to be carrying in some... We're going to be carrying in some resources for a bit as well. But yeah, I'm just double checking that everything is good to go here. And it looks like it certainly is. I believe this field here still needs to be marked as fallow. Yes. But beyond that, I think everything is good to go. So these will be fallow down here. This is already getting plowed. It's almost done getting plowed, in fact. This down here is already plowed and is going to be sown very shortly. Yeah. Yeah. We're making very solid progress on that. Okay, so there's that harvest handled. Let's head on up to Selbitz, and let's see how we're doing on being able to upgrade some of these level 2 burgages. So we're lacking clothing stall supply here. I want to make sure that our tailor's shop that we put in over here is set for gambesons. We need linen for that. Okay, so that is correct, and at this point, we wouldn't mind putting in an additional chicken coop, but we're lacking the wealth. It is October now, so that is fine. And I want to check each of these level 2 burgages just to see if any of them are upgradable at this moment. We're lacking some food stall supply and some clothing stall supply. So that is understood. This one's just clothing stall supply. Okay, so we're hauling goods out over here. That's okay. The plow has begun in Nooslow. We can see that we are down to two months of fuel at this moment. And I'm wondering about the location of our forester's hut. We definitely have a forester's hut here. That's a sheep farm there. Livestock trading post, small stable. We have a woodcutter's lodge out over here. Which, honestly, should probably be cutting, like, up over here or something. But our charcoal kilns are working away. Yeah, I'm wondering where our forester hut is. We definitely have one. I know that we definitely do. Trading post, dyer's workshop. I know for a fact we have one. Because we're planting down over here. But I don't actually know where it is. Amazing. I wish there was a search feature. That would be pretty decent. For sure. So that's a communal oven. Here's the forester's hut. And they are, I believe, planting down over here. So that's okay. Now this woodcutter's lodge is at three. This one's at three as well. I think we'll be okay for fuel, to be honest. So on we go. We're going to continue working on the plowing and the planting. I'm a little concerned about this set of fields, but that's normal. I'm normally concerned about that. Looks like we're still hauling out over here. Yeah, that's going to take some time. These guys always fall a bit behind from the haul. So that is relatively okay. I want to check in at these burger plots again. Clothing stall supply only. Okay, so our Weaver's Workshop, we might want to put a second family into. We would have to expand. And two Burgages is maybe not the worst of ideas here. So two additional Burgages up over here or so. Yeah, something like that. We'll get that going. And the idea behind that is they're going to go into the Weaver's Workshop. So at this point, we're looking for food and clothing stall supply. 
It is November and we're only starting the plow up here in Selvitz. So that is definitely not ideal. No doubt about that. We're making some plowing progress in Nuslo. We'll see how far that gets. This field didn't get set. Let's get that done. So we're going to get out there and plow that. That looks good. Nuslo is running out of fuel. I mean, yeah, we knew that. I don't think that they actually have a major issue with it, though. Maybe they do. We do have nine available families right now. So we could go and grab a couple of extra woodcutter's lodges. We could do like two of them, one here and one here. And I guess that'll be fine for now. Okay, so we're gonna be finishing up some of these fields. And as we finish them, we're going to start working on the others faster and faster. We'll see if we're able to get New Slow completely done. I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not. We're making good progress in Waldgrind, but it's not completed yet. But we're sowing a lot of things. And we see that we have the oxen working in several of these fields. Very inefficiently, as oxen tend to be. So that is noted. And we're still working out over here as well. We'll see if we manage to get all of this done before the winter, but I'm kind of a doubter. So that is all looking reasonably fine. The main concerns, of course, well, this is a big one. <laughs> we got some of it done anyway. So that's good. There's a lot that has to be done in the fall in this game. No doubt about that. Okay, so we got one of these burgages complete. The other one is under construction. That seems fine. But it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue to work on getting that last achievement. It's taking longer than expected for sure, but we're getting very close. It is now December though. So we can see these two fields did not finish. This field did not finish. And honestly, that's mostly because of the inefficient paths the oxen take. These three fields here did not finish because it took so long to haul. And we have a number of fields not finished over in New Slope. Okay, noted. Well, it is time to put that cut in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue to cruise forward and get Selbits a little bit more upgraded. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, Kentogen, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.